The Africa Cup of Nations will expand to be contested by 24 teams up from 16 from the 2019 edition of the tournament in Cameroon. The Confederation of African Football's Executive Committee rubber-stamped the proposal on Thursday at a meeting in the Moroccan capital Rabat. Meanwhile, teams such as China could be among countries invited to grace the Cup of Nations should a marketing recommendation of inviting foreign teams go through. The suggestion was made during a two-day symposium in Rabat. The inter-club competition was also discussed. The recommendation put forth was a harmonization of all league calendars in the continent so as to have the club competitions run on August to May schedule. Celestine Karane reports. African champions Mamelodi Sundowns have not had a proper off-season since 2015. The Brazilians won their first continental title in 2016 and are still in the hunt to defend their title this year. The CAF Champions League calendar runs from February to November, while the South African League follows the August to May schedule. This means that for two consecutive seasons, Vito Mosimane's team have been playing through their rest period. But now there is a recommendation to have all leagues in Africa harmonize their calendars to the August-May window. And I think it's good for CAF today to think about that, to make sure that whether you're from East Africa or Central Africa or, or, East or West Africa, uh, you know, you're playing towards the, you know, the same uh, calendar and also for club president I think it's important, uh, for federations also I think it's important, I think also for sponsors it's important. The proposed changes in the inter-club schedule could see this season overlap with the next season or have the next season begin in August next year once the current season ends in November. The scheduling changes for the leagues will then allow CAF implement its proposed shift to June from January for the Cup of Nations. To boost marketing, a working group also suggested the introduction of foreign teams to the competition. It's an out-of-the-box marketing idea. It's a decision that ultimately must be made at the level of the CAF Exco. And, but it is, it is certainly an avenue that is going to make a lot of money for African football. If we had a China as one of our 24 finalists, China come with a lot of sponsors. Cost of travel across the continent can also be prohibitive for many clubs, with some even choosing to suffer the consequences that come with pulling out of competitions. Suggestions were also given on how to ease this financial burden for clubs. Some sort of a participation fee can also be given to all six, 32 clubs that have qualified to the inter-clubs. Uh, as for the teams that didn't qualify to the, to the group stage, the one also of our recommendation was to, uh, cons make it to con take into consideration more effect, more, in a more efficient way the geographical considerations you know, uh, during the preliminaries in order to be able to reduce the cost as much as possible to the traveling teams. CAF's executive committee is meeting on Thursday to further deliberate on the recommendations from the symposium, those that need a change in statutes will then be passed on to the members in Friday's Extraordinary General Assembly. Celestine Caronet, CGTN, in Rabat, Morocco.